very welcome to this Senior Render Surface Material Series. My name is Carsten MD from ASM TechBase. Please subscribe to my channel and make sure you ring the bell option here like all so you get all the latest video notifications, all my tutorial, so you won't miss out on anything. And one more thing, on my website, join the ASM TechBase email list for newsletters and future updates. Okay, in part six of this series, we talk about the environment channel. The environment channel you use pretty much for reflections if you have nothing to reflect around your model. If it's inside or outside, that's really when this comes very handy, that channel. Okay, let's get going. I've got a very simple scene here. I got a ball, I got a, a couple of windows in the wall. And if you have a look, I've got absolutely nothing around it. So if I go around, there's just nothing there. So there's nothing to reflect in um, for the glass or for the ball to actually when I render it up. So let's just render this up and we see how, what we start with, okay? I started on purpose with the glass. It's not very transparent. So you will see in a moment if we apply it in some environment, uh, environment channel, you can see the effect. Otherwise it's a bit hard to see. Okay, so the ball has a material. Let's go in here and I just call this normal uh, ASM tick base environment material. Um, it's just a gray color. And let's just add this environment channel. So you tick here and you gotta obviously add something to reflect. At the moment I got nothing. So let's add a texture because that's what you usually do. Get an image and we go to the library. I added some HDRI images and let's start up with the cloud layer image as example. So I open this and as you can see, the image is just a normal spherical image. HDRI, I can show you this in Photoshop. I got a couple open. See, that's this image here. Let's go back to ArchiCAD. And this will now reflect onto this ball. So we click OK. You can see already here how it works. So we click OK, render this up. You can see the reflection is too washed out. And the reason is it actually looks at the color base. So at the moment, the color base is sort of gray. So if I put the base totally black or very close to black, it looks a bit funny here, but let's render this up now. Okay, you can see the color looks nice and strong now compared to the start. See, so that's just adjust the color if needed. The other bit is, it looks like a reflection and it is sort of a reflection, but all it does, it wraps this image around the ball. There's no real reflection, so I didn't have the reflection channel on. That's very important. Now, if I add a reflection, let's go back here. Let's take this off for now and I add a reflection. Okay, just click OK and we render this up. As you can see, this is a 100% reflection. It just reflects on that ball, anything that's in my model. And then you just saw before, all I have is sort of grass and this sort of block of uh, a building. And that's all it reflects, because obviously the environment we have, the physical environment at the moment, which has the sun and sort of a horizon. Now let's add the environment channel to this. So I click here. So it's adding the channel. And we've got, we've got to be careful. There's a setting in here you have to adjust. You can keep it on multiply. That is fine. But you have to go, I mean, the environment is fine. But if you go to the reflectance channel, you have to change the channel settings to the blend, the blend mode. You have to change, oh, actually, sorry, this one. You have to change this because it could be that it is on the default setting of average. I can't remember now. And if the default setting is there, you can see already it's not reflecting any or adding any of the environment image. So if you go here, average, and we go back to the additive, additive. Yeah, you see it totally looks different. So that's important. If you use reflection with an environment, you have to 
change this blending mode. Let's just click OK and render up and we'll see how that looks now. As you can see, it added this on top now. If I go back to that one, right, or which is only the reflective, um, reflective channel, no environment channel, or to this one where this one is only the environment channel. So you go from here to here. Now you can see it obviously reflects the grass because it's right there in compared to this grass I've got here. So you just got to play with your reflection. Obviously this is 100% reflective at the moment. So you have to play with that a little bit, you know, tone down the reflection. If you want to show um, something different to reflect. And also if that's a bit washed out, or you think, oh, you know, I want this a bit less. You can just play with this in here. So you can go to the environment, as example, see color brightness. So I could just turn that down as example and then you render up again and this will change here. Okay, going from picture six to picture five, you can clearly see the difference. You can go the other way around too, which is important. You can go to the reflection channel and reflect this less. We have with the strength here, let's put it down to 50. Okay, and let's maybe go back to this one here and put that back up a little bit. And then you render again. As you, you can see already, there's a little bit obviously trial and error depending on your scene, depending on your development, your project, your house, that you have to adjust those channel settings. And you can see, it's, even though I turned the reflection quite a lot down, but it's still quite reflective. But the, the, the cloud looks very nice now. Have a look if you look from here. See, the, see around here, there's almost where the horizon is from the physical sky. It's all gray. And if you go to this, it starts sort of, you know, to look more realistic. Now, the other bit is before I go to the glass, you obviously can add different environments. Let's just add a different environment. And we go in here and add an urban environment. I'll show you this one here, which I have here, urban street. You know, it's quite common, you got the development. Let's just say you have a couple of houses here that'll be demolished. You put a new one in and you really need the streetscape like this to reflect maybe in the glass. So that's a very nice one here. So if I use this, go back in here and just change it over. Click on image and we go to my HDRI images. I think I use this one. Yeah, it's a bit dark here. Don't worry. That's why I sometimes show this for you quickly in Photoshop. And there it is. And let's just pretty much hit OK, you know, and render again. And then you can see what's happening here. OK, you can see the difference of this here now. But it's important. It's, it's important that the environment, have a look. If I look at this image here, you can see it's quite bright here. By the way, this is washed out because it has the light information in it. To see this, you can go to mode 8 bits and you can see the sun is a little bit up here and then you can see all the clouds. If I go back to my um, rendered image, this is still very white here. The problem, have a look, well, it's not the problem, what it does is, where's the one with, uh, yeah, see the sun at the moment, you can see with the shadow, the sun is sort of behind my camera. And this obviously brightens still out the image here, see that? So if I would change, my sun. Let's move it there. Okay, going to 3D to make sure. Yes, yeah, he hasn't changed. Not very happy with that. Sometimes in Arcade 23, I notice see if I'm in here and I click there, it doesn't want to do it. So I have to go down here, move my sun, go back to 3D. So I'm totally in shadow now. Let's render this up. Okay, clearly difference. The sun moved, I see the sun here moved to there so that's good and the next step you would have to do remember you have to go to the environment the brightness you have to the color sky here turn it down and render this up again the problem is obviously not the the, the cloud looks better but the rest is pretty it's too dark if you look here so i really need 
you know, I need the, the house and the, the trees. I want to show those. Now, because I use the HDRI image, it has the light information right in the sky and I can't get this out of the normal environment channel. You know, that's different to when you go in here and you add the environment. There we go. If you add instead of the physical environment, you add the HDRI environment. Okay. Like here, you can change physical sky to HDRI, choose this image, and then it will light up your scene with just that image. Let's get out of this. Okay, so what I did is you can just save this as a normal bitmap, like a JPEG. So, you know, have the nice clouds near and save it out as a JPEG instead of a HDRI image. So if I go back in here now and swap this over, can add this from my library. I've saved one out here. See, that's now the JPEG image. And I add this. And you can see already the difference. Okay, so it doesn't have any light information. So for this environment, I actually recommend using JPEG images because it will look a lot better. So let's click OK and we render this up. Actually, let's stop this here and I like to move the sun back because it will look better. Let's move the sun, oops, back there. All right, and render again. As you can see, obviously the sun came back. It's a bit in the way, but it still looks better. I have to quickly find this. Where do we have this here? If you look at this and the latest image, it looks a lot more. You see, even look at the house. If you go back, which one was it? Yeah, see here the house quite dark and you go here. And you could just, you know, turn down the reflection a lot. At the moment, I did not really do that. Let's have a look. So let's just really turn that down like there and render up. And there you go. Looks different. Like I said, you have to play yourself with it till you're happy with the result. Now let's have a quick look at the glass. If I apply this environment to the glass now, let's go to my reflection glass okay and add this environment and we add the same image let's go and add this image and we do add this one all right and just hit render okay as you can see now it reflects on to the glass now, obviously, yeah, you can also see that doesn't look very nice at the moment. Okay, first things first, you remember if I changed the color uh, of my material, this will look better. So I'll go in here and we go to the reflection, reflection glass, color, and it's just the brightness, you know, make it pretty dark. There you go. Okay, and render this up. There you go, that's already a lot better, see? Then next bit is, you can obviously go in here and you have to change transparency. If you watch part four of this series, the transparency um, video, then you will remember this. Then you click OK and you render up again. There you go. You start looking inside. You can see the shadow going inside. And the reflection is just a lot, a lot of reflection. So you just have to turn the reflection down and stop that here. You go in here and you go to the reflection. Again, that's a matter of then. It's a matter of turning on the reflection. And remember, this this is actually not a real reflection. You can't then turn this reflection down. You have to go to an environment which is sort of a fake reflection. Okay, and you have to turn that one down. Let's just turn that one down. Go here. Go there and render again. Yeah, there was a bit much as you can see. I turned it off too much, but it can happen. So obviously you have to go and turn the brightness up a bit. So again, you can play with this till you get a very happy result. And if you remember, you watched the other Cine Render and Surface Material tutorials, Cine Render series. 
the white walls remember because it's a white wall at the back it looks a bit washed out at the moment the reflection it's a lot better where it's dark you see here so again just play around with it but that's pretty much it about the environment channel which is very helpful very helpful and i have to say it renders faster than the if you use the hdri environment okay that was it about the environment channel the next part part number seven will be about the bump and normal map channel